Hey, my dears, it's me, Chelsea Rose, also known as Lucid Rose, and uh, changing up the format a bit. I am doing a tea staining or tea painting. Uh, if you follow my channel, you're probably familiar with my creative process, um, but I do like to paint with tea. Um, and generally, I've been showing you my tea painting process via time lapse. Um, well, I was recently on Periscope for like the first time in forever, and uh, some of you guys were saying that you were interested in seeing my tea painting process in real time versus time lapse. Um, and I had thought about doing that previously, but I was worried that it would be too long and boring. Like, I was like, who wants to sit and watch me diddle around with paint or tea for who knows how long? Um, but anywho, um, it's an interesting idea. So here I am, giving it a shot. So let me know in the comments uh, what you thought about it and uh, if I should continue doing these this format, I guess, is not, you know, not time-lapse, showing you minute-by-minute, uh, minute, paint brush stroke by paint brush stroke. Um, as usual, I am working with uh, one of my original prints. Uh, this is actually a commission uh, of Odin. Um, a friend of mine commissioned me to draw Odin for her friend's birthday, uh, and uh, so I did. And I'm also gonna, paint, you know, paint it with tea before I give it to her. And uh, yeah, so here we are. I'm using my two favorite teas to paint with, which is the Rooibos Chai, which looks something like that. Uh, and then I have the Hibiscus, looks something like that and that creates my warm and cool um, strangely enough the hibiscus the red looking kind of tea actually turns more of a uh, light grayish blue kind of almost sometimes purpley when it dries so that's kind of my cool tone and then the rooibos chai stays nice and warm and sepia, kind of a reddish brown. Um, so I kind of like the way they complement each other. And so, yeah. Here we are. Um, this commission was pretty awesome. I really love the way it turned out, but I was super nervous uh, initially uh, when uh, it was commissioned because if you are at all familiar with my art you will know that I specialize in creature ladies um, aliens, fairies, mermaids, goddesses um, everything and anything feminine and strange and unusual and wild I like to draw it and I like to paint it um, unfortunately I do kind of neglect the male form. Um, I'm getting better. Uh, you know, every year I get a little better, more inclusive. Um, and, uh, yeah, but still, um, still I was totally nervous when, when they asked for Odin, because I was like, great, this is just gonna look like a chick with a beard. And, uh, if, if anything, I need to definitely do Odin, uh, this amazing, uh, ancient Celtic Norse God, legend, dude. I need to do him justice. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I actually really am excited about the way it, it turned out. Um, you know, I already felt like beards are a glorious thing, um, and I learned how fun they are to also to paint or to, uh, to illustrate, to draw. Uh, so now I'm going to have to draw more bearded dudes. Uh, maybe it will get me more excited about drawing men. We shall see. But um, for those of you who know a bit of my background story and my inspiration, this might be kind of a, I don't know, um, a repeat. But uh, 
as a young girl, I was given spiritual slash religious freedom, um, in which case I got really interested in my lineage, uh, which has a lot of Irish in it. And, you know, I'm talking about maybe around age six and up, was fascinated by Celtic lore and, um, you know, fairy tale stuff. So uh, that then blossomed quickly into an appreciation for Wicca and paganism. Um, so um, I, I was familiar with Odin's story at one point, but I kind of lost interest um, in, in some of that stuff as I got a little older, talking about um, late teens, early 20s. Um, I'm only like 29, so whatever. But um, essentially what I'm saying is I actually had to look up a lot of the myth of the myth and legend and the folk tales uh, and the symbolism uh, related to Odin because I'd kind of forgotten a lot of it. Mostly more interested in, uh, you know, the, the goddesses like Freya and, um, you know, Morgan and, you know, the like. So... Uh, forgive me, poor Odin. But, uh, yeah, so I had to re I had to look everything up again. Um, I initially drew him without his blind eye, which is an integral part of his whole mythos. Uh, and, um, I kept calling his ravens crows. I mean, it was just, it was just kind of, I was kind of a mess. I was all over the board with it. So, it was kind of fun. This commission made me you know, dig up some old knowledge and uh, refresh my memory on a lot of stuff related to it. So I'm, I'm just really digging this commission on many levels. I'm still undecided as to whether or not I'm going to keep the audio on this. <laughs> I mean, I'm essentially just rambling at, at you guys. Um, so, if I do leave the audio on, please let me know if you think it would have been more enjoyable with maybe just some music. I'm undecided. I might just rip out the audio anyway. We shall see. But another interesting aspect to this commission is that um, she asked for the runes uh, to be incorporated into the design of Odin and this whole painting. So that's what these weird looking kind of characters are all in here. Um, and runes are based on like ancient Norse, I think, or maybe it's Germanic uh, alphabet. And um, they're kind of used the way that tarot cards could be used, kind of. It's kind of a, it's a divination tool, and uh, yeah, I used to play with runes when I was younger. Not play, but I guess work with. Uh, so it was another, another interesting aspect to this, was kind of being reacquainted with all of this strong, important, beautiful stuff. Stuff and things. Hi guys. I'm having a hard time talking and doing this at the same time. <laughs> but we've got most of the uh, most of the Roy Boss chai in to for him. I think it works really well for his for his beard, you know? Kind of a nice reddish blondish beard kind of going. And I'm um, kind of Wondering, I think I'm going to use this to accentuate some of these detail elements that I already have added into the drawing, kind of make them a little glowy, and then I can use the hibiscus to finish out the whole background. Kind of highlight it though with, highlight these little orbs with the Roy Boss Chai. So 
So yeah, if you are interested in commissioning me uh, to do a custom drawing, custom tea painting, something of that nature, please feel free to do that. You can contact me here at my YouTube channel or feel free to find, reach out to me on my Facebook page, which is Chelsea Rose Arts. Um, or on Instagram, which is Lucid Rose, or even on my Etsy shop. You can send me a conversation there, and that's lucidopticlab.etsy.com. Okay, I'm going to dive in. I'm going to grab a thicker brush here for the background. Okay, let's see how this looks. There we go. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I like the subtlety, the subtlety of of how how this hibiscus turns this weird grayish, subtle purple. I think it'll work well for the background. So I have forgotten that you were there. <laughs> totally zoned out for a moment. Forgot that I was doing a, a video. Hi. Um, I'm pretty stoked about this month's limited edition tea print. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. I didn't post a uh, my usual video on it. I actually just posted a recording of a Periscope live tea painting that I did of one of the prints uh, for this month, but um, if you are not aware, I do limited edition hand tea stained prints every month, and this month's print is called Are You Dreaming? And it's inspired by a reoccurring dream that I've had involving a giant eyeball in the sky giant unblinking eye that replaces the sun and the moon essentially <laughs> it's a pretty trippy dream um, and I actually painted it for the Drawloween challenge uh, that was a lot of fun to participate in and it was probably one of my favorite illustrations to come from that and uh, yeah I just decided to use that for this month's limited edition prints so I printed that out, and as always, it's a limited edition of 10. And uh, it's also got some other elements to it that I enjoy, like it's inspired by the famous uh, painting called Christina's World. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but I kind of stole some of the formatting um, out of that classic painting and made it my own. Uh, and it's got a little Victorian house, like my dream house, in it. And uh, it also has a super beautiful, kind of alluring female form in it with my signature third eye spine. It's like these th series of three eyes that travel down the spine of my characters. And, uh, well, anyway, I should just show you. It's right here. Here it is. See the giant eyeball floating in the sky in the little Victorian house. And then there's like a cityscape in the background. And then there's this figure. And you see her three eyes down her spine. So that's this month's limited edition tea print. 
Uh, you can pick one up for 10 bucks at my Etsy shop, lucidopticlab.etsy.com, and I believe there are six out of 10 left, so go and grab yours before they are gone forever. Okay, I think I'm getting close to being done. My favorite part of doing all of these tea stainings is splatters. So I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna do some splatters. So I'm gonna put down some of this Roy Boss chai first. It's weird, like, when you, when I put the rooibos chai over uh, any previous of the hibiscus, any previous things of the hibiscus, it almost, like, I don't know, it, it, like, highlights or pushes the hibiscus out of the way. It does this interesting, almost like a resist thing. I really like the way it works on top of the hibiscus. Kind of giving some of the ruins a bit of a halo with, with the tea. And now for some finishing, just a few small splatters of the hibiscus. Okay, and voila, I am all done. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, more videos coming soon. Uh, much love. Okay, bye. Okay, well, that's the tea painting process. I really hope you like my Odin. I like him so much that Beyond just doing this as a commission, I think I'm going to be offering these in my Etsy shop. So um, check my Etsy shop soon. I think I'm going to create a listing where you can just order one of these custom tea stained Odin prints. I think they'll be 30 bucks at an eight and a half by 11 size. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. So um, beyond that, uh, stay tuned. Lots more videos coming soon. I really appreciate your support and patronage. Speaking of patronage, I do have a Patreon page. Uh, I recommend checking it out. That's patreon.com slash Chelsea Rose Arts. And, uh, hey, I think, I think I am all done. Show you some close-ups while I yammer at you some more. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, I really appreciate your support. Um, I think I'm going to actually be offering these uh, beyond just this as a cut commission for my friend, but I'm going to be offering this as a tea print. So um, check back in my Etsy shop, lucidopticlab.etsy.com, if you wanted to collect one of these 8.5 by 11 hand tea stained. I think I'm going to offer them for about 30 bucks. Um, so if you're interested, check it out. And uh, don't forget to look at this month's limited edition print. And... Um, Beyond that, I have a bunch of uh, YouTube videos coming soon, so keep an eye out for YouTube stuff, and um, yeah, check out this new little space I created for myself. Um, well, what happened was one of my computers died. Uh, it was during a storm, so this is where one of my computers used to sit. It's kind of a little office space. Um, over there is where I usually do my videos. Uh, but this is kind of like the perfect little spot to do tea painting at. So that is where I am doing it. This is where the magic happens. Also check out my new favorite cup. Look, it's a little Harry Potter cauldron cup. 
I couldn't help but grab it. I mean, it's just so cute and witchy. Uh, so I'm drinking some green tea. Anywho, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, more soon. Much love. Bye bye.